Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How does police radar know which car is speeding? If you've ever wondered how police radar can pinpoint which car is speeding among a bunch of vehicles on the road, you're about to find out. Let's break it down step by step. Police radar uses a principle called the Doppler effect to measure the speed of vehicles. Here's how it works. When a police radar gun emits radio waves, these waves travel through the air and bounce off moving vehicles. The key part is what happens to the frequency of these waves when they reflect back to the radar gun. When a vehicle is moving towards the radar gun, the frequency of the reflected waves increases. If the vehicle is moving away, the frequency decreases. By analyzing this change in frequency, the radar gun can calculate the speed of the vehicle relative to the radar gun itself. Now let's talk about how police radar distinguishes between different cars. There are several types of police radar, but they all work on similar principles. For instance, stationary radar units are mounted in fixed locations, like on a tripod or a parked police car. These units continuously emit radar signals and measure the speed of approaching vehicles by analyzing the frequency shift of the reflected signals. Moving radar units, on the other hand, are mounted in police vehicles that are in motion. These units can measure the speed of both the police vehicle and other vehicles on the road. This is achieved by using the relative speed between the police vehicle and the target vehicle, allowing officers to detect speeding violations even while they are driving. Handheld radar guns are another common tool. These are small, portable devices that officers can use from a stationary position to measure the speed of vehicles. They work the same way as other radar guns, using the Doppler effect to calculate speeds. Police radar guns operate on three main frequency bands, X-band, K-band, and K-A-band. The K-A band is the most modern and widely used, as it offers a higher level of accuracy and is less prone to interference from other sources. To focus on specific vehicles, police officers can use different modes of operation. For example, Constant on Radar continuously transmits signals and displays speeds of vehicles within a set range. Officers can configure this range and set a threshold speed, so they only see speeds above a certain limit. This helps them target speeders more effectively. Instant on radar, or RF hold, is another method. Here, the radar gun is on standby until the officer spots a suspect speeder. The officer then quickly activates the radar to get a speed reading before turning it off. This method is designed to catch drivers off guard, especially those using radar detectors. In summary, police radar knows which car is speeding by using the Doppler effect to analyze the frequency changes of reflected radio waves. Different types of radar, such as stationary, moving, and handheld units, along with various operating modes, help officers accurately target and measure the speeds of specific vehicles on the road. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.